attention, please, attention, please. This shit here feels like the whole entire world collapse. Hola amigos, my name is DJ Angelo and I'm an artist, brand ambassador and consultant for Real DJ. I've been a DJ for over 20 years and uh, I started off as many do in the bedroom with vinyl, with turntables. Back then in the UK, dance music, electronic music, funky house was very, very popular. So this is the music that I started with, but I fell in love with the craft of DJing. So once I learned how to beat match, I was kind of bored. I was looking for the next challenge. And this is when I started to discover turntablism, scratching. Nowadays, I play all kinds of music, but I always try to keep an element of live skills, um, turntablism, real creative mixing. This is something that I specialize in, I guess, and it's what people know me for. When I started, there wasn't really a lot of options. Um, vinyl was still the primary way to DJ. And uh, I started with turntables, which is my preference still to today, even though there's other technology around. I do prefer this traditional approach to DJing, but I'm not a purist. I don't think everyone has to DJ the same way or the way I do. I'm completely open-minded to new technology. Technology is a great thing, and it has made life a lot easier for all of us. But it comes at a price as well because it's made um, the playing field even for everyone and much easier for anyone to become a DJ. When I started, you had to really be serious about being a DJ. It cost a lot of money. You had to invest in equipment and you had to buy records. So it, it kind of um, filtered who was really interested and who was just following a trend. Now professionals are competing more with uh, lifestyle and amateur level DJs. It's, it's good and bad at the same time. It's a very interesting time for the DJ industry and um, my way of competing and staying relevant is to keep human skill involved with my performances. There's a lot of ways to fake or cheat or you know, uh, hide behind technology, but I really still like to perform in a real raw and live way, showing what I can do, not what the technology can do. When I was younger, I was quite interested in trying everything I could within DJing and I had a period where I was always looking for competitions. In 2001, um, I entered a competition in London, completely didn't expect to do well and I found myself in the final. I was young, I was inexperienced, I was very, very nervous. I was throwing up backstage, you know, I wasn't ready for this and I ended up winning this competition, which was a real boost to my confidence. But because I was young, I think I became overconfident because the following year, I went back to enter the same competition. I had a bit of a arrogance, I think, and I entered thinking I was gonna win easily, but I ended up coming third that year. This really brought me back down to earth and made me realize that you have to keep working hard. You, nothing is ever given to you. So I took a hit, I took a blow, but the following year I came back, I swallowed my pride and I won the title back. Do the rock, do the rock, do the rock. 
this was a personal win for me. Um, I got back my pride and that was one of the last times I really cared about competition. Nowadays, I love competition. I love watching DJ competitions and I 100% respect DJs who want to battle, but I'm quite happy being, an, uh, being a spectator and uh, competing only with myself. In 2009, Reloop approached me to be a, an artist for them when they were emerging into the UK market. So I've been a, an artist for nine years for them. Uh, and nowadays I'm more of a consultant and um, a creative ambassador helping with the overall business and strategy um, for their products, their marketing, their social media concepts. And um, I'm really hands-on with the direction of the brand now, which is a lot of fun for me. It's a really great company. They're always trying to innovate. It's um, like a family business in many ways. We're smaller than many other DJ companies, so we're able to uh, move fast and react quick to the trends that are always changing in our industry. Aside from just DJing, traditional DJing in clubs, I'm now more of a, a businessman in the DJ industry. So I help with the branding of, of Reloop. I also run uh, and I'm a creative director of an online DJ school. I would say I'm 50% artist, 50% DJ businessman nowadays. Okay, mi amigos, that's it from me, DJ Angelo. Thank you for Adagio for hosting me in Barcelona. And of course, stay tuned to me and to the Reloop brand for some exciting news coming in the future. So until the next time, it's peace and progress from me, or in your language, paz y progreso. of all of them.